Ah, uh, geysers. Or vents? Or geysers? Wait, what? Well, at least the volcanoes are consistent. Anyway, since I recently returned to making videos, I posed a question asking which topics the community wants to see me talk about. This time, you all have Bob the Box 2993 to thank for the following comment that inspired this video. <clears throat> Nothing specific, in reference to what Bob would like to see, but I'd love some more tier lists. Your tier lists have been some of my favorite content. Edit. Turns out I misremembered the amount of tier lists you did. I can only find one. I remember requesting a geyser tier list. So I guess I do have a specific request now. And without any further ado, let's double the amount of tier lists I've ever done and get going. Okay, here we are. Let's make ourselves a tier list. So this is all of the geysers, vents, and volcanoes, like I alluded to at the beginning of this video. I really don't like that this is called a geyser when everything else is called a vent. And I really don't like that there's that inconsistency in a couple of other places. It really bugs me, as you can tell. It's specifically this one. Ugh, why is that called that? All right, anyway. Uh, so yeah, geysers, vents, volcanoes. Let's do this. First of all, uh, in alphabetical order, because that is clearly the way to do things. Carbon dioxide geyser, useless. Uh, this has basically no utility. Um, yeah, it's just weak. Like, you wind, you wind up spending more power than you would gain off of this thing. I guess if you're desperate for, like, carbon dioxide for rocket fuel, you could use that, but I don't know. I have literally never found a reason to take this. All right, cool slush geyser. Uh, this is essential. If you find this, this is something that I think you're probably going to build a lot of your game around when you're playing uh, Spaced Out. This is uh, salt water that comes out at a very low temperature and for cooling purposes in the early game and for metal refineries later in the game, it is it, you just have to get it. It is very, very good. Same thing goes for Cool Slush Geyser. It's basically the exact same geyser, except it uh, puts out polluted water instead of salt water. So there you go. Leaky Oil Fissure. Uh, this is the first one where it's not overly clear. Um, this is really circumstantial. I'm going to put it into niche and limited. Um, this is like, if you're desperate for oil, you could find one of these things and get some oil extracted from it, but it's not very common that you'll be in that situation. This also puts out very hot oil, so you can still get a little bit of energy off of it by... Uh, letting that heat up some steam and then getting some power off of a steam turbine. But I don't know. It's very limited in niche. I would not worry about it too much. Liquid sulfur. Uh, it's probably going to be sitting somewhere in between here. Um, I don't really know yet. Let's put it here for now. I only put it in niche and limited because its only real purpose in Spaced Out is going to be to help grow a certain type of food. And the food's not bad. Um, the only problem is that you do have to cool it, so you are spending a little bit of extra energy, but it is a renewable resource, so it's hard to be too mad at it. Ah, uh, we'll bump it into okay. We'll call that good. I put the oil reservoir in here only because it looks very similar and kind of functions similarly to these things. Um, I'm going to also call this good... Yeah, good, because in most runs you will have a pretty good surplus of water that you can use this to just generate a bunch of extra oil. You can also use Slicksters too, but that does take a lot of your duplicates time to do something like that, so... I usually will use this if I need oil, so it's not essential, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it there. Essential to me is like every single run really requires it, so... I don't think it quite qualifies for that. All right, polluted water vent. Um, this one is something you should also pretty much be taking every game. Um, since you need renewable water, this is something that is very doable, especially if you can control what the water sources are going into. And basically what that means is that if you're not using it for food, this obviously puts out polluted water with a ton of germs, but it's not that big of a deal if you can uh, limit where your water goes and not put it straight into your food and therefore not expose your duplicates. 
Food poisoning germs are really not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm just going to throw it up here in Essential because you're basically going to want to take it every single time you see it. Saltwater Geyser. Um, this one's probably okay. This is like if you're pretty much out of options for taking renewable water, you're going to take that. But it comes out at such a high temperature that the amount of energy you would need to spend to cool that down to make it practical for a lot of different uses, like growing food or creating oxygen or whatever, is going to be a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw it there. Same thing with the water geyser. Same problems. Um, I guess the water geyser is technically slightly better than the uh, saltwater geyser because you at least don't have to clean the water that comes out of it. So I don't know. Sure. Those are okay. All right, that's all the geysers. I'm looking pretty happy with this, I think. I don't think I'm gonna switch any of these up. In terms of, I guess, order within the tiers, we could just do this. I'm gonna bump cool slush geyser up just a little bit, only because polluted water is typically a better coolant than brine. All right, carbon dioxide vent. Again, useless. I have never seen a reason to get this. Um, it will produce a tiny, tiny bit of energy for you, but it's really not worth your time. Um, it's not as bad as the carbon dioxide geyser, so I guess I'll put it here. Sure. I guess arguing over where you sit in useless is pretty... Uh, <laughs> you're kind of splitting airs there. Alright, chlorine gas. Um, this is... Um, it's somewhere in here. I have not found a lot of reasons to take this a lot of the time, but there have been times when it has come in handy. So I'm going to put it in niche and limited. I may move this. Um, the biggest reason I could see for something like this is if you are running a Dreco chamber or if you need a constant source of chlorine. Um, even then, it's not going to be something you rely on for very long. So this is definitely lower than leaky oil fissure. That's fine right there. All right, cool steam vent. Uh, same problem as the water geyser and the salt water geyser. This is basically just a water source. You know, mm, yeah, uh, I, mm, I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't really like this, but I'm going to bump this into the good tier for now, only because this is a water source, like I mentioned. But I'm only bumping it into good because it is pretty available and there are some instances where you're going to need to heat things up. So for example, if you ever need to heat up your cool slush geysers of either variety, you can just run it through a cool steam vent and that will help increase the water that you get from here and here. So it is possible. These are really, no, those are just better. This is a weird thing to try to reconcile because these are a lot more rare. I guess the salt water isn't. No, this is dumb. I need to move this down. Maybe the salt water is a little higher. I don't know. Maybe because it's more plentiful or accessible or I don't know. I'm clearly having a hard time. Liquid sulfur is definitely worse than all of these though, so I'm gonna move that down. Okay, hot polluted oxygen vent. Uh, it's somewhere between these two. It's either useless or it's niche. Let's see. I'm going to talk through any reason you'd want to do this. I guess if you were really desperate for oxygen, you could get this. But at the same time, it's like just straight up worse than uh, morbs or something like that. Which is like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at that point if you're trying to get oxygen. So you can get a little bit of energy off of it. But once again, it's basically the same as a carbon dioxide vent. I'll throw it maybe here only because it is a little bit more useful than the carbon dioxide vent. But it's leading the train on uselessness. All right, hydrogen vent. Uh, this is one of the best vents in the game. Absolutely essential. Uh, this is a huge power source, and especially later in the game when you're creating fuel for your rockets, uh, made out of hydrogen, obviously. Uh, this is going to be a great source for that. So if you see this, you should take it. I'm going to list this in essential, and there's really not much of a reason to overthink this. All right, infected polluted oxygen vent. Uh... This again is like if you're desperate for sources of oxygen, it can be decent. It's just not practical. So maybe I guess this means it's niche again. Because like, I can see games in which I would take these. This makes sense to take in some games. I have almost never taken this. So this is more like a theory crafting type of thing of when this would be useful. It's not as useless as these other things though. And especially for the hot polluted oxygen vent. The infectious polluted oxygen vent at least comes out at a reasonable temperature. It's like 60 C, 
which you're still gonna have to cool, but it's not that bad. So I guess it's here. Natural gas, easy up here. Um, this is debatably higher than some of these other sources. Um, it's definitely higher than hydrogen. Let's leave it right there for now. Natural gas is uh, easily the second, uh, or like the most common power source that you're gonna get right after coal. Um, and it's plentiful for the whole game. All you need is a little bit of steel to take it. There's no reason not to do it. It is very, very good and I would call it essential. All right, steam vent. Um, I'm gonna call this one good. Uh, it's not essential. It's better than okay. This is basically something that's like, if you have it, you should take it. Um, reason why is because it can be a little bit of a good source of water, so it is a little bit better than this cool steam vent for that. But also this just directly produces energy when it's erupting. So, I mean, you might as well. Uh, if you can turn that into energy, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. I'm gonna call it good. You can play the game just fine without taking it though. So I'm glad that that tier is fleshed out a little bit more. I was a little worried. Okay, let's look back over all of our uh, vents here, and it looks like we're in pretty good shape. I think the ordering makes sense here. Yeah, okay. All right, volcanoes. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit faster only because a lot of the volcanoes are really similar. So a bunch of them are just metal volcanoes and the other two are just like magma volcanoes, I guess, like liquid igneous rock. So uh, yeah, I'm not super worried about organizing these that much, but I will at least comment on all of them. So aluminum volcano, um, this one's good. Uh, I would not call it necessarily essential if we really wanna split hairs here. All of the metal volcanoes are gonna be sitting between these two tiers. So um, the ones I would definitely put in essential if you can find them. Tungsten is incredible if you can find it, um, only because it is such a good heat resistor. So that's a very good source of renewable uh, metal. Up here, I'd probably also put iron, only because iron can be used for a bunch of things other than just refined metals. The rest of these you can kind of throw in no particular order. I guess gold might be the worst out of all these, only because it has the least utility. Uh, aluminum and cobalt and copper. Actually, probably put cobalt a little bit higher than aluminum, but they probably just sit in here like this. Clearly, if you see metal volcanoes of any kind, you should take them. Especially in this tier, it's like, if you see it and you can afford it, you should just take it. Um, so, but the tungsten, the iron to me kind of separate themselves only because the tungsten especially has a super high heat resistance. So you can use it for things like rockets or whatever else. Has pretty good uh, conductivity and iron volcanoes can be made for steel or you can use them in a bunch of other applications. Rocket fuel in some cases. They're not necessary. Mm, are these higher than hydrogen? I think so, actually. Yeah, hydrogen's really good, but I do think that renewable metal is more important. So I'm gonna throw these up here. Uh, does that look right? Yeah, that's probably fine. I'm having a hard time placing some of this stuff. Finally, niobium. Um, this is one of the metal volcanoes. I'm gonna list more down here. Um, and I know some people are probably losing their mind at that decision, but I'm framing this all around like what's really practical for you to get throughout a run. And Niobium volcanoes are so incredibly inaccessible that by the time you're thinking about that kind of thing, like the game is basically over. And that's mostly how I look at things. So like you're probably done uh, with your run in Spaced Out if you're finding this. So. I mean, if you were to, for some reason, find it somewhere else, like this is sitting up here for sure. Um, it's about equal to a tungsten volcano, all things considered, but because it's so rare, I have to put it down there. I just don't, I can't say that it's like this thing you need to build your strategy around or anything like that. All right, now the last two is the minor and major volcanoes, or I guess just regular volcanoes, whatever. These ones are also kind of like, if you can take them, that's great, but it depends. Uh, it's gotta be somewhere in here because the, the issue that I have with these is they are a little bit more difficult to deal with than just magma that's sitting out somewhere. Uh, magma that's sitting out somewhere to make geothermal power is a lot more accessible. Um, I don't think 
It's definitely not on the tier of like water and salt geysers. So, or salt water geysers. So I think I just have to throw them both there. There, uh, that looks pretty good. Let me see if I have any qualms with anything that I have rated so far. Let's see. By this metric, I am saying that the best geyser or vent or whatever in the game is a cool slush geyser. And I think I'm gonna stick with that only because it is absolutely something you will take every single game if you can find it. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Same with this. Polluted water vent, I guess, could maybe be pushed down just a little bit because I think natural gas is more important. Like, you could run a whole game without finding a polluted water vent and be fine as long as you have something else, or if you're desperate, you could use one of those. Let's see. Refined metal is maybe more important than polluted water. I don't know. Hmm. May yeah, we'll just set it like that. I think that's probably fine. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm sold on this tier. Definitely hydrogen should not go down, and I think definitely oil reservoirs should not go up. Now the question is, which one's more important between these? I think the refined metal is probably more... The, um, it just depends on the game. So, I guess we would do something like this. Steam vents are a lot more easy to work with than the volcanoes, so I'd probably leave it like that. I know the volcanoes can do a lot more than I'm letting on here, only because it is a constant source of magma, but a lot of those builds are so advanced that I don't think they're really that worth it to take into consideration here, so... I'm comfortable with this. The okay tiers, leading it out with water makes sense. Liquid sulfur is also like, eh. It's fine if you can get it, but if you can't, who cares? Niche and limited, yeah, leak oil fissure, that makes sense. Even in games where it's been available, I have rarely taken it. Um, chlorine gas vent, yeah, whatever. If you need a constant source of chlorine, it's fine, but you usually don't need that. Unless you're doing something weird. Uh, infectious polluted oxygen vent, same deal. And Niobium Volcano, again, this in, in practice is like up here. Uh, but in like, I guess not in practice. In theory, it's up here. But in practice, I think it's down here. I think it's just, you're in real runs where you don't have any like weird mods or you're not playing the sandbox or something like that. This is something you almost never hit, so I just have to put it down here. Sorry to all the Niobium fans. And finally, useless. Yeah, hot polluted oxygen vent. Pretty useless. Not much of a reason to take it. Carbon dioxide vent and geysers, both of them quite useless, so I think I'm fine with that ordering down here. And by this metric, the worst in the entire game is the carbon dioxide geyser, and I'm very comfortable with that. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and say here that if you have any other requests, I am happy to listen and I will be making a lot more videos going forward. So who knows? Maybe you will be the next Bob the Box. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.